Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the winner badge in the other world by Rainbow 1239. So let's get started. So first off, as you know, this is a family game. You will not earn any hats or accessories for completing the game. You will just get some badges. It's still pretty cool, but just not to this one. So in order to get the winner badge from this one right over here, you want to head over to the opposite side of the island where there is this little bridge right over here. And just for some button presses for what you will need for the rest of the game, you can press the space bar twice to double jump. You can press the shift to run faster, and you can press Q to make different platforms appear or make them stop moving or start moving. So right over here. Here for this first bridge, you can see that this platform is kind of semi-transparent, so that means that you can't actually step on it. But when you press Q, the platform is actually up here, so now you can actually walk across the bridge and get to this next island. So once you get to this next island right over here, you want to turn left and hover to the bridge right over here. And for this bridge, you will need to actually shift to run and also press Q to jump to the next platform. So over here, this first platform you can't walk on, so you need to press Q to step on it. And then for this next one, you will need to shift to jump over to it, and then press Q in mid-air to make it appear before you step on it. So over here, I'm gonna jump to it, and then I'm gonna press Q before I land on it to make it appear. And when the same thing for the next one over here, and they should be able to make it to this next island. Now on this next island, there is this little platform in the center that you want to step on that will take you to the top of the island. So over here, once you reach the top of the island or over here, you will head over to these little moving platforms on the side of the island. Now if you notice, some of these platforms are actually moving and some of them aren't. And if you press Q, the ones that were moving now stopped and the ones that weren't moving now are moving. So you will need to use this kind of strategy in order to actually make it to the next island. So over here for this first platform, it doesn't matter if it's moving or not, but you just want to step on it right over here. And then you want to pause it near the area where this next platform is so that you can have a pretty small distance to actually jump to it. So once you think you're close enough, you can go ahead and jump to this next platform and then you want to do the same thing for these next two right over here. Once you're close enough, you want to jump to it and once you're close enough, you want to jump to it. Then for this next one, you would pause it right over here next to this long area as you want to have a pretty short distance to jump to it right over here. And then when you think you're close enough, you can just jump to it right over here and then from that platform, you can just jump to this island. Then once you're on this island, you would head over to the top left corner right over here where there are these bridges right over here. And for these bridges, you want to do the same thing that we did earlier on where you press Q and also shift so that that the platforms up here. So over here, I'm going to press Q, that platform appears, the same thing here, and the same thing here, and then I should be on this little island. And we'll do the same thing for these next two bridges as well. So once you do those things on the bridges, if you look closely on the left side, there are these kind of little floating platforms right over here. And if you press Q, they actually start moving closer inwards or farther outwards. And you actually want to stop them when they are closer inwards together like this. And when they're close together inwards, you want to use them to actually get to the next island. So you can actually jump on them all the way until you do actually reach this next island right over here. And then once you reach this next island, you want to keep going straight forward until you do find these little two floating platforms right over here. But once you find these platforms, you want to jump over to this first one right over here. And if you notice the second one is pretty high up, so you will actually need a double jump to actually reach that one. And it's easier to reach it if it is going downwards. So since it's going downwards right now, you just double jump to it right over here and you should be fine. And for this next one, you can see that one is moving up and down. So you want to stop this platform when it is pretty high up so you have the best distance to jump to that platform. So once you think you're at a pretty good distance, you can just go ahead and shift and double jump to this next platform. So once you land on this one, now you can make it start moving and then pause it right over here when it's close to this next platform so they can jump over to it. And then on this one, you just want to jump from this platform to the next island right over here. And once you're on this next island, you want to keep going straight forward until you reach this next floating platform right over here, and then you want to jump onto that one as well. But once you're here, you notice on top right over here, there's this platform. And if you don't have Q pressed, then this platform is actually semi-transparent and you can't actually stand on it. But now since I pause this, I can actually stand on this one. For this next one, now it's moving, so you just want to jump down and on it when it is lower. You want to take it all the way up here to the top. You should find this next moving platform. And this platform won't be moving if this one is moving, so you need to press Q in order to actually make this one move. And then when you wait for this platform to be close by so they can double jump up to it, then from here you can just shift and double jump to the final island right over here. Now once you reach this final island, you want to head over to this big star right over here, and once you interact with it right over here, you just want to hold E, and once you finish holding E, the game will finish, and you should be awarded with the finished badge. So yeah, hopefully this was well with you guys, and get the finished badge in the other world, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye.